I gave it to you. Oh, you did. You didn't say yeah. one. What about one? Blast off. <laughs> All right. The, uh, okay. Thank God. We're in session. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm sitting pretty far. Okay. Speak right into the microphone. Don't be bashful. Okay. Okay. I, of course I'll. So, can we start with the uh, this document? Just start. Just Taking a look at it. You want to do the minutes? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Sorry about that. Sorry. All right, you've got the minutes. Thanks to Bruce. Any questions? Oops. No questions. Can I, how about a motion? I'll move to. Uh, Approve the minutes as presented. What day do you talk about? Okay. February 1st. February 1st. It's the first time, sorry. Leave that to us. So I don't have to agree. Oh, so I'll right right next to it. I'll second. It's moved. It's seconded. Any questions? Three people can vote, right? Uh, I can abstain, right, or if necessary, vote. as a rule of necessity, right, that I could vote for it anyway, even though I wasn't here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you could got a choice. You can either hold it off to the next. No, wait. No, we'll vote. All right. Skip. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I'm going to abstain. Opposed? One abstention. One abstention. Three, Three zero, one. one. And Which means that still carries. Yes, yes. yes it still it here. Okay. So we have a spot. <laughs> so where are we? We doing everything in yellow again? Uh, yes. Yeah. Or we're going to start there. We, right. we may. Uh... So if we could, can we take the selectman staff salaries? Executive administrator. Why is the top line down? Is it a new person? The top line. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, yeah. Oh, for fiscal 18, there was a, a budgeted amount. Uh, we budgeted high, just in case, and she was hired at the um, step, step one. Any other questions? Can I have a motion? Make a motion that we approve this budget. The motion is there a second? I'll second. It's moved, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Extensions? Is that four zero zero? Yep. Okay, select board and administrator expenses. Any questions? Yeah. 
Go ahead. I mean, through December, I don't know what it's through December they had only spent twenty four hundred. Yeah, so I agree with you. I so, but we've got the new financial today, so I didn't get a chance to look at that. I do. A lot of the expenses happen in January when the select board goes to the MMA conference. Okay. Um, I, I can yeah. tell you that at least. Um, yeah, it's. I don't know what else would be different, but. Still, I know. Normally I think the budget. The money is spent in you know, here's here's the deal. I think dollars maybe. I think the budget <laughs> is always set up with the idea that all three select board members and the administrator would go to the MMA because it's always possible that that might happen. And we had um, just two select board members go this year, and um, last year I think we had just one. Did we have just one go last year? I can't remember. No. But two went. Okay. We, anyway, we so. could budget a lower amount, and then if the selectmen all go, they can come get a reserve fund transfer. <laughs> um, about nine hundred dollars was spent this month. I mean January. So it's still way under. Yeah. Well, there are more receipts. I know that they've been submitting, so I do think it'll be probably another thousand dollars. Right. I believe um, much of the expense was paid uh, in the February. Uh, warrant if, I if I remember right, but I think it's too high. Well, in, in, in 2017, we were over budget by I don't know, 2,500. Yeah, nine. And we're heading. Looks like we're heading to be over budget 2018. But maybe it's too small even warrant further discussion. Did I take my? Um, From my experience, I would leave it right where it is. Because whatever they don't spend goes back into free cash. Oh, that's true for everything. Yeah. Most of it does. I would ask you to for leave it as it is, please. I'll make a motion we approve this budget. I'll second. second. There's a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Is that 400? Yep. Or Thank you. The next one accountant salary. Sorry. Is this one we passed on before? We have passed on this one in the yeah. past, correct. I think you should double her salary. <laughs> She's invaluable to us. <laughs> Any so, so you only work. <laughs> I have a question. <clears throat> so you only work four days a week. Is that what it is? I work 30, 30 about hours. 30, 30 hours a week. 30 hours a week. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she's my she's my role model for. I hope. Do you think the position needs more hours? Um, no, she's terrific. At, I mean, that's her decision. Yeah, I've well, asked yeah, her, that's my question to yeah, Brenda. I asked yes. her if when I hired her when I was the intern, <clears throat> she really wanted her to work more hours, but she's phenomenal. And I've asked her many, many times. So. During certain times of the year, it requires more, but yeah. then it's during certain times of the year, it requires less. So you average it out. You know, in the end, it averages out. I don't get a lot of vacation time, so sometimes I have to take time off without pay, so then I work you know, more during the week, you know, the following weeks to make up for it. Um, but really, I, I don't think this position warrants more than 30 hours a okay. week. But are you prorated on your benefits? I am prorated on benefits at, at, at 75%, 75 percent. 75 percent. She doesn't take advantage of all the benefits. No, I know, but I'm just saying maybe that if we if we consider having a full-time accountant, maybe they should have full-time benefits, even though it's not. And we don't need a full-time accountant. Sounds like um, right. So I, I'm I don't assuming think that not, the full-time is, is 30 right hours now. a week. That's what I'm looking at. That's What's what that? I'm, I'm assume, I would assume that full time is 30 hours a week, and that's a full time employee for, for the accounting office. I but think it's figured at 32 hours a week. If it's well, e even, even at that, if, if, if uh, your benefits are still always prorated in the town of Deerfield, I don't know if that's in the, in the yeah. uh, bylaws. In the bylaws, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she also, as a non exempt employee, is entitled to overtime, but that would have to be the 40 hours. So that's where we work together. She does an excellent job of. Make a motion we well, approve this budget. Delivering. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to control. No, no, I just. Any further I, questions? 
It's moved. Second Seconded moved. all those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Unanimous. Four zero zero. Uh, we've already we've already done the accountant's expense and assessor salaries and assessor administrative assistant. Are we ready on this one? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Yes, no. Do you want to wait with Make this? Make a Hang on. Do you, you want, want to table this? Uh, not f uh, go ahead. Okay. I think for this year. Okay. Okay. I don't understand that. I'm sorry. You have to, if you're going to say something, you need to say to all of us. Uh -huh. If it's something that we can't talk about, all right. Well, then let's just not let's pass on, pass on, and talk about it later. I, I just asked if, if Wendy wanted to table it, and the answer was no. But I think we're going to reckon with this issue with payments from outside the town, from districts, um, in the following year, in but leave things like this for now with salaries. I, I guess I still don't understand. <laughs> This is a salary posi position, right. right? That's the salary for this. Yeah, for, for FY19, that's the proposed salary. And you're thinking about paying for this out of something other than no, the budget? No, no. Oh, we'll talk about it at some point, but it's not for this coming fiscal year. So does that mean you want to hold on? So us this or is not? good. This is this a is step. Good. In, this includes the step increase um, in color that uh, that you approved at the last last meeting. Yeah, I. I, I I didn't have, we didn't, well, right. <laughs> we accepted. I don't think, I would not say we approved it. So this was yeah. uh, an approved amount set up by the selectmen? Yes. So then I'll make a motion that we approve this budget. Any, it, any questions? I need a second. It's in line with the compensation schedule. Yes. Right? Yeah, that's, that's why I don't we say we don't, we don't have much of a choice. We don't know. We don't we're know. Go, if we're going to go with the compensation schedule, then we have no choice. No brainer. All right. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Did we have we had no, a motion? No, no, second. We, we had a motion. And did I we have a second? I'll second it. It's moved, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Four, zero, zero. Yeah. <clears throat> The next one, legal, legal expenses. Legal expense, 151, okay. 5300. Okay, you can explain that. the. Uh... Okay. Um, you want me to? Sure. So, um, council proposed to us a what I used to call a retainer contract. She calls a flat fee. Um, I thought about it a lot and reflected on my experience of working with the council and the issues that come up here. And I thought it would be a good idea to try it for the next year. And she assured me she would continue to itemize uh, the bills so we know where the cost centers are for departments and committees, et cetera, that are using legal. Um, this, it, this is a $36,000 contract. It also includes spending um, once a quarter, having an attorney come out here and spend the entire day. And I reflected on that and thought that would be very useful. Um, because there are so many times people are running off in different directions and this would be an opportunity to bring everybody who's speculating about things into the same room with council and we all hear the same thing and we save a lot of time and money by all being there at once and getting a question answered, um, whether it's land use issues or whatever it is, but that comes to my mind as the primary one where there are a lot of cooks in the kitchen. So I did think about it a lot because I'm frugal as well, believe it or not, and I, I um, I just thought it would be worth at least trying for a year to see if it benefits us. Based on my experience, I think it would. <coughs> Do you think that's enough? Um, we are only using the one firm now. We're using them for employment as well. Uh, they have an employment attorney, and we've been uh, utilizing her various issues that have come up over the year. Um, so Now, will this include uh, contract negotiations? No. It, it, um, we don't have them this year. It comes up next year, I believe, we start. So unless well, something happens. Negotiations something well, that we, we know of, let me put it that Police way. and the school. We don't get, we don't, we don't do the school. Well, we need to. Um, no, but it doesn't come out of our budget. It's not, it's comes not, out of school it's not, budget. They handle, they have an attorney who does that. It's the committee's responsibility. All right. Why is the wastewater treatment plan on here instead of being on their budget? What? 
Yeah. It's on here. It is on here. Why should the taxpayers pay for that? They should. $3,000. Good Great. catch. For the, what? As, uh, um, it's a line item that was added in 2018, right. wastewater treatment plant. Um, it probably wasn't added. It, pro I mean, it probably should have that, been there all along, right? We've, we've yeah, had I, I, that line item, but it looks like it had not been budgeted for in the past years. Okay. Well, you want to know what it was about? The, what, what, why? What they were doing that had no, to do with No, I think the idea no, was. Normally, I mean, normally wastewater treatment plant yeah. operating expenses are on that budget. So it would be so pulled know, into. I don't know that, that we've ever had legal expenses put against the wastewater treatment plant. No, budget. I think the question is why not. At least not in the time that right. I've been here. Mm -hmm. Yes, then why not? Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I think we were having a lot of. Um, one of the things we were working on was trying to determine whether the sewer. Uh, users or the town at large would take on the expense of any capital projects and we spent a bit of time looking into that and I said let's and going forward with potential major projects and that I, I think I said I think we, we should identify that as one of the areas that we are spending money so it's it's is it's actually an amount um, mm -hmm. okay. um, I think that's just for a way of, um, you know, looking at where we're spending, not so much. Yeah, but you wind up buying something in the tax rate that people that have septic systems pay for. Well, that's a diff different issue that we should talk about. Should we pull it back into the enterprise fund then? That's, that's what I, that, that's what that's he's the point I was trying to make. Right. Hmm. Not a lot of money, if, but. If it's, if, it's strictly, if it's strictly a wastewater treatment plant expense, now that we're we're going to be treating it as an enterprise fund, it would make sense to put it in the enterprise fund. But if it's a townwide expense that involves the wastewater treatment plant, well, then that's you know uh, a different issue. Like what you're <coughs> no, talking you, about, I think anyway. Yeah. That's that's my personal opinion. If it was a town, if DEP came in and said we we have issues, we need to have we need to have legal counsel to resolve these. Um, that would not. Every I think that would be a wastewater treatment plant expense. That makes sense to me. In, in, in but I guess but, I but what Wendy's talking about is is the um, uh, the line item was for uh, issues of how are we going to take care of this? Is the town going to be responsible? How is the town going to do this? And yeah, when you have a limited number of users, I think that was a different issue. Do we have an item in the uh, enterprise fund for well, the? If Enterprise you, fund for wastewater for legal? Uh, we don't at this so point. So that's why I did it. I really want to just keep track. It, it had more to do with understanding of the issues, the cost centers, you know, where we're actually using legal resources. I was going to say, so, if we were to do something like that, the, the 3000 would stay here, but there would be an offsetting right. income right. item for $3,000 right. showing someplace. Well, so, depending actually, on. Actually, if, if you're going to spend. Money for be? strictly for the wastewater treatment plant going forward because it's an enterprise fund. You will you will put that into the enterprise fund budget. Okay. I see that. As I, far that's as I, I know, we're yeah. not. We don't have an enterprise fund yet. Did we, anybody vote to do that? We're we are. Trying, we are we planning to, to vote that at, at this town meeting. At this town meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Finally, formally set that up as an enterprise. So fund, it would yes. be an enterprise fund come July first. Which is this budget? Right. This budget is July first. Correct. Correct. Okay. What's your? What do you want? You know, to do with this? Uh, yes. really, the, the the set fee is thirty six thousand. We can we can distribute it differently. You know, and and. Um, but I, I'm I'm going to just keep track so I I can follow things like if the planning board. You know, we spend a lot of money there. We should just know about it. It's an ex you know we'll try this for a year. And if it's not, it seems better for us to go back to uh, paper service. We'll do that. But um, that's a different issue. It's 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 who's going to pay for the three thousand dollars. I know. The, well, we got the off into the other issue. Or right. Well, this was to determine. This was to determine that question relative to the overall project. Well, right now the town bylaws say that the sewer users pay for the sewer. Correct. Mm -hmm. But that town bylaw is not a legal bylaw. I don't want to get into that. Yeah, we, well, we don't. The line council has we had yeah. council do that, look into it. Maybe I can shed a little light on this fee. If 
But can, uh, can, you come, can you come up? F Cat always wants that someone had a mic. I promised them I would help that happen when I was around. So. Thanks. Sir. This fee does not reflect anything to do with the actual operation of the sewer plant, and that's why I don't believe that it should be in that budget at this point. Those are just legal services that the town uh, has bared, uh, asking questions, legal questions about the enterprise fund and you know the updates of the sewage treatment plant stuff like that. Those are legal questions that the town needed to to have answered, and that's but they they broke it out, you know as that as such, but it has nothing to do with anything with the operation of that sewage plant. Did they and, ever come and I, out with a decision on whether that was a legal bylaw change? Because it was written up at the time that was voted that that was instructions to officers and it was not a bylaw, and yet they stuck it into the book saying it was a bylaw, and it's never been approved by the Attorney General. If it hasn't, it's not a legal bylaw. I thought I distributed the legal, the council's letter on that to, well, at least it went to the sewer study committee. So. Do you want to speak to that? Well, I didn't see a no, copy I, of the letter. I, I, I believe that, you know, what you are saying is true. It, it's not a binding bylaw. Okay, uh, if it's not but binding, then the town should pay for some of that stuff. You know, when they get 22% of their tax base come in from business, which everybody benefits from, somehow people have a, a uh, problem where they don't want to look at the benefits they get out of the fact that sewers are being used and we're generating taxes with sewers, mm -hmm. and yet they want to... Wait a minute, sure wait a minute. I disagree with what you're saying. Well, you right? You're saying, and I'm a septic that's, user. That's, and I'm a septic that's, user, and you're putting words in my mouth. I'm not I putting disagree. words in your mouth. Yeah, yeah you I'm are. You're, 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 saying, you're saying that I'm not for that. Well, I am for the sewer use, non-sewer yeah. users paying for a portion of it. A portion. That's right, and that's all I'm looking for is a portion to But it. don't say the people in the town are against it, the septic users, because that's not true. A good portion. You of can't generalize theory. like that. Okay. You can't make a generalization like that. Of course that. they are, for the most part. For the most that's, part, that's they only, are. Can, can, we, can we get back to the legal yeah, expenses? Well, yeah. the, the, so, the, thing, the question here is one, well, uh, we can do two things. We can leave it as is. Wait, we can take the $3,000 out, wait, whichever you want to do. No, wait, those are you two no, options. No, no. So, so, I had a light bulb come on. The legal expenses is figured into the indirect costs. So the legal expenses for SCAMS, the legal expenses for the wastewater treatment plant and the senior center are all apportioned out to them uh, by way of the indirect cost uh, calculation. So I don't th I think this is a non-issue at okay. this point. So, okay. I mean, that's what I was trying yeah. to say before. Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying going forward. That okay. makes sense. All right. Then I'll make a motion we approve it. Great. Second. Motion is removed to seconded. All those in favor of $36,000 legal expense. Aye. 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 Four, zero, zero. All right. Television. Moving right on. <laughs> IT hardware. We got is that in here? It is. That was the one I handed out just um, yep. earlier. <laughs> Would you explain what that's for? That Which is number? now uh, I, I one fifty five fifty four hundred. Uh, as as noted on the um, oh we just as, got it tonight yeah as noted on the budget yeah. sheet this has been accounted for in various places throughout the last few years like it was a capital request <coughs> uh, which really doesn't make sense because it was always under you know I think it was twenty five hundred each year that they were putting away and then last year I think we put it into contracted services we just chose to separate it out as a separate budget line item this year. Um, we do have some needs. Wendy can speak to that. Yeah. I felt, and I believe that we were doing this when I was here as the interim a few years ago, that we were tracking separately our technology needs, and I thought we were actually doing software and hardware together. At any rate, it hadn't been done that way the last few years, and I thought it was important. It's a big enough expense to really see it, um, to have it separately um, budgeted and line item. So you will see what we're actually putting into computers, um, probably phones, other things, nice. you know, related technology. So, how much so it's not just hidden away. How much did we spend last year? Uh, where are we at now? Because I know that right after the budget, we had to buy two new computers, and I think it shot shot the that we, part of the contracted services right in yeah, July I, or August. So. I think we budgeted two thousand for it uh, for fiscal eighteen, and we've spent more than that already. Is it, what account number was it budgeted in? In contracted services. Which one, is one number? 
but I, but well, but that's still in progress so. do we have a replacement schedule that's what I'm getting at I'm trying to I'm working hard to get that in place um, so that you don't have that, contract that, this number yeah. is yeah. indicated that's just a two or three computers based on our experience over the last few years this six thousand five thousand or six thousand five thousand isn't it so um, and plus, you know, all, all things proceed forward. If we get a new uh, planner position, we will need a computer for that person. Are these computers used only here in, in this building? Almost all. We have a few laptops, and I think even those rarely leave the building. You know, we use some for I think I, used, a, I used one of the laptops last year for um, town meeting. Yeah, but uh, they're so they're, they're very old. old. Yeah, that's yeah. What I thought. yeah. And, and our some of our computers down the highway are. department. This would include highway department, I assume, as well, right? I don't know. We have been purchasing through this. Oh, I, some of this, some of those costs he's been eating in his budget, putting into his budget. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly. Okay. What? And also, a um, couple of things that. related to this. Um, you know, we got a grant. Um, before I arrived for $45,000 to do some uh, backup um, technology. It's not a feasible project. I'm trying to keep that grant in our coffers and figure out how we can use it. And I spent a lot of time conversations <coughs> with many people. One of the things I'm doing, um, it, uh, the, the agency it goes through is Department of Revenue related. They have an IT division that we've been working with. They also have a program. They ha have worked with this Acuity, which is an, a large IT company, and I've managed to get them finally scheduled to come out and do a free overview of our um, technology setup. So um, hopefully that will help us in, as we move forward on identifying what we need. I'm also looking at going out to bid for IT services. Now, does this also include the uh, assessor's office? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it includes all town services. I don't know except again, for school and highway department. No, uh, no, not no, school. Police, police not not school. school. I, I would. I think police. We're talking about just, just this part of the building. Does it include Ministry. the police department too? No, no, no. So they have their own budget. Mm -hmm. And is this figure reduced in the contracted services budget? Um. It, it's hard to say because it's it, it's well, not because uh, there are other things that are coming up. So yes and no because, okay. and I will explain so what we've got in there when we get to it. Down. Things I are coming. I'm sorry. We did we have to give a it a year or two to settle down so we can separate this stuff out. Last year. Right. I'm pretty sure I'd have to look back, but I'm pretty sure we had a separate line item for it. So software would be okay. in the contracted services budget. Yep. Yes, some. Some is so specific to a department that will stay in their department. What hardware would you need for five thousand dollars? Computers. Computers, printers, more printers. Ones, replacements. Well that we don't know yet. We have them all the time. We don't know yet. Uninterruptible power supplies. There are there are what, seven or eight computers in this? Oh my goodness. No, more than that. Well there's um, uh, there's four. four in there. One, no, five. Two, three, four in bar five eight, in bar five. Office okay. alone. Six, okay. actually, six computers in her office Seven, alone. Eight. And you must have a Ten, couple eleven, over eight, there. eight, 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 trying to get on top of this stuff um, I, you know. I do have a copy of the contracted services budget from last year and it was specifically a, a line item for two thousand dollars was what it was <laughs> and we spent that right away because we had two computers go down so all right Let's make a motion we approve this is there a second I'll second it all those in favor Aye. 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 If I abstain, does it screw up the vote? No. Because nope. we don't have a quorum? It doesn't. No. It doesn't. Because I, I... It doesn't screw it up. Okay. Three, zero, one. Yep. If only one person voted, it's fine. Three people abstain, it's fine. Well, it's not good, but it's, it is acceptable. So long as there are four of us here voting. 
as you got four, and the majority so have a, to vote positive so it's a, it's a, to go through. It's a majority no, of the that. numbers here. Well, doesn't you can't have to be vote and get one vote. Doesn't yes. have to be four. Yes, once then. you have a quorum, it's the majority of those that are here. Yeah. Correct. Right. Okay. So that would be three to one. Three zero. Three one. zero right. one. Yeah. And abstention doesn't. doesn't or three count. or three one zero. Either way. Or okay. if they voted against it. But he. <coughs> yep. Understood. Okay. So the next one we have is town office expense. Which is one ninety two fifty four thirty. I think I have that one. Pardon? I'm not sure if I have that one. Yeah, we should. Did we? Yes. I yep, like it. we received it before, um, and then I made a mark that we. That's updated. Already covered it. Yeah. Uh, it. we didn't talk about it. I don't okay. think. Yep, you got it. What's well, the total? Do I have the count? Is it twenty eight thousand? Yes. No. Twenty three thousand. Twenty three thousand. That was where we originally thought we'd put the IT hardware, and I did some more research into where it really belonged, and so we took it out. So, Got it. All right. Yeah. So it's twenty three. Yeah, IT hardware grew by a thousand dollars. Pardon? From, is it IT hardware was six? We just approved. Five. Five. Okay. I wish it was six because I'm thinking that's not going to be enough. Right. But anyway. Yeah, and we've um, we've complained to everybody else that uh, about keeping the uh, expenses more or less, if possible, within the two and a half percent, three percent range. And this is obviously not within the two and a half percent range. So, is there a reason that? Uh, Well, this is the whole this, and I it's all the supplies that we get. I don't know why that went up $1,500. Uh, we, lo we looked at the actual, what was actually spent no, on supplies, on and, supplies and brought it to where we thought was a reasonable number. Um, it's been so long ago since we put this together, mm -hmm. I don't remember all the details, but I know we did look at the expenses and felt like this is a better number. Um, on the town reports, I think you could speak to that one, Wendy. I think last um, well, year. I had great I had great hopes that we would go back to the kind of town report that you used to have. Um, you know, it, right now it's sort of a generic thing, and, and we've been very lucky to get a very low price on publishing from Staples, but that almost didn't happen this last year, and I don't know what's going to happen this year. So, um, again, this would be for the following year, but it's up to the town if you want to continue to have the town reports the way they are, then we can do that. I just I thought it said in our bylaws that we would make a copy available to every resident of the town. I somehow I remember that. There I don't know. There they are always available. I'm sure you got to see them. Been, they sit there for the longest time. And most people don't get them, and most people don't want them. Right. So the question yeah. is, how many do you want to get? And you want to get some good hard copies. Mm -hmm. And you want to distribute some at the town meeting and have some available here. Why don't we have conversation also at the board meeting about this? Um, okay. Just I didn't. because it, it, the quality is not what it used to be. You know, the town used to have a more robust report with more reports, more information, and now you've, you've got it I, very I minimal. And I think that's reflective of the cost that was spent um, 2013, 2014, and 2015. Right. We spent between 22.7 and 25.9 all three of those years, and I think that was when we were still doing the fancier color um, reports. The traditional report. Uh, the, uh, the bound copies. Well, well the, the printer done. Are these these, are, these have been made at Staples. Yeah, and fine. we almost did not get the price this past year. We pulled out every stop to say you promised us, blah, 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 blah. So I, I don't think we'll, we'll get the price that shows here for 2018. Um, but it, it's a quality issue. It's the kind of report that the town wants. So mm -hmm. I think you can have input in that, and we'll also talk about it tomorrow night's select board meeting. It Which, seems like we had this conversation last last year about the quality of the report and having something that was nicer and I thought we reduced that budget last year as I remember I don't know I, I don't remember it might have been because no I don't know 
<coughs> now it's doubled so. from, from last, from this year. I, the, think, uh, I think we need to have a conversation at select board level to see what they want. And certainly if you want to add your input and thoughts about the quality of the report. And so what would you like to do? Mm -hmm. I'd like to hear the selectmen's what they want to say. So you want to table this? Yep. So the next meeting. I would like to table it. You so want to try for a vote or not? I don't care. Then I'll make a motion that we approve this. See if we get it through. If we don't, we don't. Okay. There's a motion. Is there a second? Dies from the lack of second. So let's table it. Let's table it. Okay. I'll withdraw the motion. How's that? Okay. It's moved. Is there a second to table? What would we spend Or whatever the, the correct. Just hold. Mm -hmm. There's no vote. All right. We'll just pass. But we'll just pass it. All right. Pass. Okay. General insurance. It's the next page. Yeah. Can I just follow up with Brenda just made a comment to me. Mm -hmm. um, I think she's right. I think that 5,000 may actually just cover what we have at this point because we really did everything we could to get that good deal out of Staples, and I'm not sure even this will cover it for this year. So um. They did it to save us as a customer, but at this point, we're not doing that much business with them. I just don't see what they're going to do it again. Mm -hmm. How many do we make? I don't know. I, um, uh, how many do we make? Yeah, Carolyn made that decision. Um, okay. And But there are, there's a bulk rate, of course. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I think we reduced, in the last couple of years, we reduced the number we were making because okay. they weren't being, I mean, yeah. they, People weren't taking them. Yeah, how many boxes so we do we still have? So we tried to make have? it more reasonable with what was actually being How many done. boxes oh. do we still have? There's, what are there? Three out there? I don't know. Right. But this is a discussion I think the board okay. has to I make think, a decision. Yeah. I think someone would need to look at yeah. okay. what we want to do. Okay. Let's, let's take a look at general insurance. Yeah. Oh. Um, I don't have, and I've asked and let them know that we are anticipating the addition. Is this the appropriate time to talk about this? Um, of potentially two new, one, definitely one new building and probably two new buildings, and I haven't gotten back, I haven't heard back from them um, what that additional cost might be. So we don't have a final number yet, but I think we're thinking that this should be okay. Which um, is the same as what we've budgeted for fiscal year 18. Um, but for fiscal year 18, we've we've spent, um, if I remember right, about 45, 50 thousand at the most. Okay. And that's we, a monthly billing. So what's that? It's no, a monthly, it's, it's, it's quarterly. Once, uh, once a year. Um, most of them are annual. Oh, we got a but once a year bill. Forty-five thousand. Well, it, it, okay. So far. Yeah. And I don't, I don't see any change to that unless unless we, you know, a vehicle change or something like that. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I can't remember. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, I think, what did they, did they already say, the 5% increase? Well, they Budget said, for the 5% increase, that's before I told them about the buildings. <coughs> well, they knew about the church. We knew about it. We thought it was going to happen more more quickly. So would the 5% increase come because of claims? I don't know. That's what they tell us to budget every year. It just generally means. I mean, if we don't have any last claims. Last year, last year they told they us to up. plan on well, it. Well, we're in a pool. Um, oh, it's a pool? Yeah, it's the Maya program. Um, we also do a lot to reduce those premiums by going to trainings and things like that. I didn't realize it was a pool. I any, didn't realize it was a pool. Any further questions on this? They really give us a great rate um, compared with the uh, company we were with before. So mm -hmm. this this is just buildings? Oh, no. it's everything. Building, but vehicles, workers, It's everything buildings. but workers' comp. And pol I don't know. But it doesn't we're cover the police, police department. Police liability, no. I don't police think. department is a separate. Highway department. Um, a separate. A separate um, no, they're covered. Highway is. Yeah. And and SCEMS pays for their own um, oh, their own yeah. vehicles. Does it cover liability? <coughs> yeah. yeah. Um everything, you know. You okay? Yeah. I think so. Any further questions? Make a motion we approve this. Mm -hmm. We have a motion to approve. Second. Second. Move, seconded. All those in favor, sixty five thousand for general insurance. Aye. Aye. Abstain. Three oh one. 301. 
Okay. Can I answer more questions for you, Bruce? Yeah, I just don't, if we don't know, if it's 45,000 less what we paid this year, and we're adding $20,000 to it, why are we adding $20,000? Well, I guess I would look back at what we spent in 2017 to start. But we had well, $2,000 higher there. It's not always a guarantee that you're going to have people take advantage of trainings to, to give you a break. Mm. Um, so I think you need to keep that in, in, in mind as well. well we um, also, is, is it more than what we need? I suppose it probably could be, but it's better to be, I think, safe than sorry. My, we, we, are, we are too safe. My, that's my biggest concern. As a free cash number this year, we were really safe. And plus, I know we started out on a high number, but we're, we're, we're not, that, not that high. Not that yeah. I don't think this is one of those budgets you, uh, you know. I, uh, I understand, but they all are. Yes, they all add up. I, I understand. Okay. That's yeah. not my only concern. That's why and I we do have a reserve fund that we can use. But the that's fine. Was the reason for the uh, keeping it the same, even though we only dispersed forty-five thousand, was the addition of the two buildings? And and the the vehicles, um, the vehicles? rate increase that they were expecting, the five percent that they said to plan for. And anticipating some possibly new vehicles. Uh, you know, we're, we're all set here, so. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so, public safety, the next page. Uh, inspectors, inspection salaries. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I didn't Wait a minute. That. 241 51 10, and I think that's in the is that a new one? 241 50, no. um, wasn't the last one. I think you've had it for a little while. Yeah, what else? 241 51 10? Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. Looks good to me. I'll make a motion we approve it. It's all based on the compensation schedule. Correct. Pretty much. Uh, it, well, uh, well. Mm, uh, Kyle's is based on the compensation schedule. Um, the um, part-time inspectors, the electrical, the plumbing, and the gas inspectors oh, no, all get right. a flat fee of $35 uh, per hour that they work, and it all depends on, on the business. Activity. That, yeah. Um, the only one that increased over last year's budget was, uh, was Wayne. Uh, Shaw, because he's doing more or has been doing more work than uh, what we budgeted previously. So we, we increased that um, at Dick's request of, for uh, by about 100 hours, if I remember right. I think everybody knows, but I'll add that all of those salaries are covered by the fees collected. If we have enough fees. Me. If there's enough fees collected. Oh, there's, there's you know, it's more we than do well. Usually. Yeah, we do very well. Yeah, Maybe not, not this year coming up. I don't well, see much in. If, if, there, no. if there are fees, if we don't collect the fees, then those items where it says inspector, buildings, inspector, Be wiring, less. we wouldn't pay out the, the right. salary. Right. Correct. Right. So. Yeah. right, it's an hourly rate. So well, I mean, we still will pay out the salary for the building inspector. And for Priscilla, uh, the Priscilla, uh, yeah. Priscilla clerk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. You want a motion on this? Yeah. Is that right? All right. I'll make a motion. We approve it. Second. You got a second. 125, 210. It's moved, seconded. All those in favor? Uh, I just want to point out. Zero, zero. I'm sorry. Um, for, uh, the inspections clerks, um, I'd rather not use one. Um, uh, is also doing a lot of work for the land use boards as well or at least the conservation commission and the planning board so it's all captured here not in there not in any other budgets for her time okay. you understand we have a land use board planning board planning and the board. conservation commission okay our office is doing most of the zba work administrative work you're doing zba well yes that is that administrative pieces. <coughs> Sorry. The next one is building inspector department expenses. Number? 
please. The next one. Of uh, 241. 5,400. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Okay. Yeah, I got a couple of questions. Sure. Um, through December, maybe I should look through January. Sorry, Oop, one minute. We've only spent $700 through January. <clears throat> and we're consistent, we've consistently year over, last two years prior to that, we've over budgeted. Budgeted 2570 in 2016, spent 1668. 5795 in 2017, spent 2414. And it looks like we're heading in that kind of a direction this year. You have a new so. inspector. And the new inspector plans to go to more conferences than what Dick had uh, taken advantage of. Um, obviously, he's he's reduced his budget anyway. Um, felt like there was too much fluff in there, so yeah. so there was some of that taken out. So I I think he feels like this is a good number. Can he tell you what the uh, vehicle expenses were for? The vehicle expenses is gas. Or to, to reimburse them if they use their own vehicle? Because I know it no, be. no. So, it's for that. Okay. so uh, the vehicle that we have in town, they use um, gas, and the the police department gets billed for it. So at the end of the year, the police department this gets um, reimbursed for this. Yeah, uh, splits the last bill uh, against uh, these departments, uh, this one and the board of health. Yeah, I think it's a different. It is a different department now. So you have to look at it in that light with um, the former building commissioner um, and now having new building commissioners. So. I think it's too high, but it's probably not worth talking more about. We pick a fish to fry. Make a motion we approve this. I'll Move, second it. Move, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Four, zero, zero. Yes. So now oh. if you go to your tab five, it's the first two. Um, I did hand out one of those tonight. That was the Board of Health expense, but the salary one was already in here, if I remember right. I just, just point out that in case you hadn't noticed, the uh, we have numbers for both the Deerfield Elementary School, the requested numbers, and Frontier Regional School. Uh, you got the tech assessment, or is that... Just pardon, we did not know. I just threw okay. in a number just to have something in there. Sorry, okay. just just to to keep it on the board, there. So the so the tech we haven't gotten the tech amount. I yet. think they were were they meeting? Did I say anything? I think they were meeting, meeting one, right? this Is week. They will meet sometime shortly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think they're meeting. Oh, you have that one? Yeah. Oh, okay, great. As and far as we, we know, we don't have any other tech school and students. And if we called, we probably could. Oh, you mean we're not going to get any from Smithville? I have inquired and. At this point, there doesn't appear to be any, but All you never graduated. know. Uh, yeah. So because they've expanded some programs, they now have a um, I forget what it was—a firefighting. I don't know something interesting. It's okay. <laughs> so they're there in any of that. Um, and I think last year we voted a dollar just so we had it on the books, so that if we did have a student, that we mm -hmm. could we could do a reserve fund transfer request, but. Um, you're still waiting to hear back from them, though, on that, aren't you? Like, they won't know till June, probably. Oh, okay. So I think that's a good idea. Just this, know. this one is this is new, right? Everybody has it. Mm -hmm. So here or in the boxes? No, I I just handed them to. Okay, so yeah, you I just all, printed you all enough for each of you. Yep. Okay. Yep. And they want to know when to come to a meeting, and um, they come to the meeting when they've reduced their budget another two percent. I'll let you be that messenger. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Do you want to move this Board of Health salary? Uh, board of Health salary, yeah. What's the number of that thing? 512. Okay. 512. 512 All right. Make a motion we approve that. Second. Okay. So this is 35,299. Uh, Melissa, any any questions? No, just say it's the same old comment. We have no choice. Well, yeah. Oh, you got it. <clears throat> and it, it just reflects <clears throat> what increases we have without expenses. We have an annual increase of over five percent. 
in these budgets, just as a comment. I don't know what we're going to do about it, but just wait. There, there, the number of hours in here changed a little bit too because Dick is uh, no longer the building inspector. He's doing just help, board of health. But, and there were some increase in hours. Yeah. Correct. Well, he's, yeah, the, we, actually, he's actually retired, and that's the maximum number of hours you can work. And that's not, right. And you mm -hmm. not deduct any of your retirement pay. Mm -hmm. 19 hours. Right. A week. What are, yeah, 19 whatever hours are did he have nine? Did he have salary? Right. Salary. And was he 986 hours the year before? No. no. He was roughly 2,000 right. hours the year before. Because he was both he, he board was, of health and yeah no, he was he was strictly a full time employee he didn't get paid more than that and he had to split his hours between those two departments yeah so when they get split was it a thousand twenty or whatever it is yeah I don't, I don't remember exactly it, it, at that point it didn't really matter there's one good thing about this that we're not paying any benefits well no we're not paying right. any benefits right. at all it, on this salary. Exactly. All he's getting is what this number is. And if he gets any more, he reduces his retirement. But he is retired, so he is retired. entitled to benefits from No, that. not from this not from the same place he worked. Oh no. Well, I don't know. No, it's true. Okay. Uh, you, you, I don't uh, I'm I'm I'm, part of the, I'm, I'm in the middle of it right now, so I'm in okay. I know. All right. In any event. We have Board of Health salary, $35,299. We had a motion on that. Is there a second? I'll second. It's moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Four zero zero. Uh, Board of Health expense, which I assume is the next one on the list. Yep. That was handed out tonight, right? Yep. 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 Wow. And actually, there's no Social Security taken out either, I don't think. Excuse me? <laughs> That's Without correct. Social Security? Right. Did you really? Social Security? Well, um, there isn't in the, in the state of Massachusetts. Right. And there oh, Social Security, yes. Medicare, though. Yes. Correct. There's still Medicare. Okay. But that would be the only... Yeah, that's the only medical, benefit he would get. Trust uh, <laughs> Remember that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So what do you want to do with the Board of Health? Mm -hmm. Expense? Yep. Are we going to approve the mosquito control again? I would hope not. We, we didn't the last time either. No, we didn't. We didn't last time. We didn't, either. and it went to the town floor. And, and the town the town voted it. So the question is, are we doing the exact? Do, do, we want, do we want to fight the battle again and spend hours on this? I, I just don't know uh, why we, uh, we continue. Are we going to spend this 11000 every year? Well, once they start, no. they want to keep it going. <clears throat> And that was my understanding. We, this was that's why we fought it last year. I know. We didn't win. I know. Now, if you want, we can fight it again this year. I just think we should. Uh, well, then the next but one. I don't have a problem fighting it either. Is a tick issue. Tick I, I, can, I can go for the ticks. Well, that was the, being paid for by Grant testing? last year. Yeah. Now we're picking up the, the cost of it. It was I'd paid like by Grant them. last year. I'd like to flip them around and make the mosquitoes 1500 and the ticks 11000 You got my vote on that. But the problem with both of those is it's just testing. It doesn't really do anything about right. the problem. Of the, the, it just reports the problem. Yeah. Well, I it think just it tells you if the tick is diseased or not, I'm or the mosquitoes are diseased or not. You know, they're still out there. It doesn't do anything to control the population of them. We're really hoping with these this um, second grant that we got that it will reduce, um, but we don't know. There will still have to be some contribution from the towns who become members of the Mosquito Control District. Yeah, I but think we that's are hoping, but I, I can't tell you. I can't tell you what that would be. I mean, what did we get for eleven thousand last year? We got two reports. I think. Yeah, we got some reports. Huh? Did, a couple of reports for eleven thousand bucks. That's it. Weren't we paying a bounty on the mosquitoes? No. Is that a buck a piece? We couldn't tell. No, there was eleven thousand mosquitoes in town. <laughs> Not that they captured anyway. <laughs> okay. So, so what do you want I'll to make do? a motion that we reduce the budget by eleven thousand dollars. Second. It's moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Bruce? I yes, I, I 
I vote for yes. <coughs> All right. So I, I will I will abstain. So it's zero. Three zero one. Three zero one to remove the eleven thousand dollars. Zero three one. And who vote, who seconded it? Uh, how do you say it? No, three zero sorry. one it's, to remove. It's three zero one to remove, to reduce the budget. To a twenty six thousand eight forty six. Twenty six thousand eight forty six. Eight forty six. All those in favor of the budget, 26,846. Aye. Aye. Well, I guess we need to have a motion for the budget. Oh. 20, okay, is there a second? What are we doing? I'm We're making a, a motion to approve the budget at 26,846. We've got a motion. I'll we second. need a second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous, 400. Zero, zero. And all we got was two reports. I well, think there were more than that. Could have been. Yeah. Monthly reports. And, and so 11,000 dead mosquitoes. When it comes to the town meeting and we are talking about the difference between what the select board wants and what the finance committee wants, somebody can stand up and say we only got a few reports out of the 11,000. I want somebody to explain the mosquito control district. Well, don't do that. I, I, that's you are now. That's the second night. I'm just, I'm just saying, but that's uh, why um, are we spend the money I when we're here. I'll make sure we have but a handout I, on that, so it's. And I think the, the all the money that's being spent on the mosquito control grant, or uh, mosquito control district right now is through a grant. So set for setting it up. I guess so. Yeah. And that's how much. I think we got. Yeah. I think the original it's, grant was like thirty-five thousand. We set got up. two grants. No, because much more than that. And mm -hmm. this year we got $150,000. Go. And it's for the whole Pioneer Valley. And every week we're getting new communities to join on, on speculation from Hampton County up all the way up through Franklin County. I don't, um, Charlie kanicki has been helping with this. He has a lot of expertise. And he just gave a presentation uh, to local officials at the Pioneer Valley. Planning Commission meeting, and he's—I think he said there were three more towns that, at that meeting, expressed interest in participating. So, With my understanding, once this district was established, our eleven thousand dollar fee would be reduced because we have right. now one. Well, it's not It's not quite established yet. They have to will be by vote. On, yeah, it's an—it's a work in progress. And as I said, I will do whatever I can to get the late, you know, the updated information, have it in written form. So people can grasp what you know is actually happening and what the implications are, yeah, financial and otherwise. We're going to continue. To, oh, we haven't here, but if, if we are going to continue to spend eleven thousand dollars on mosquito control, somebody's got to justify it. Somebody's got to justify mm -hmm. that relative to our cost to be in the district. And, and I could be mistaken, but it, it's my understanding that as this goes on, that the member communities will be obligated to pay. Uh, larger dues, and it's my belief that the eleven thousand dollars will grow to either fifteen or eighteen thousand dollars, and then there's going to be talk of this district having full-time employees. So yeah. you know that's it's just there's one employee just, um, oh, right now. Yeah, no, understand. not even yet, um, and uh, that person actually is a, a state employee. It's how the, it's an arcane, ancient thing. This is the first district to be created in forty years, so. Um, uh, we got to set up the board, and I think there, it's uh, the, the state reclamation board determined it would be a five-member board, and there were people stepping up from the mer various member communities to represent and uh, people who have signed, you know, communities that have signed on. All right. So we don't have a final, um, you know, you, I'm not going to go on. No, thank you. <laughs> okay. You've heard yeah. enough. <laughs> so we're that's because we're not going to vote to spend the money on it. Yeah, I'm just explaining. I'm not. That's right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so we can move on to rec departments. <laughs> Director's salary, I think. Number, please. Tab six. Six thirty four. Six thirty four fifty one ten. Yes. Oh, yes, it's okay. one of those I handed okay. out to you. Um, oh, no, no, you've had that one. It's it's on behind your swim program. Oh, you. Oh, yeah. I'm just putting things out okay. that I know we're going to possibly talk 634. about. Six thirty-four. Yeah, forty-eight, five forty-one. I think is the total. Okay, rec department uh, director salary. <clears throat> this is the one where 
we pay the director's salary and the actual activities or expense expenses of the department are paid from uh, fees that that the department receives for the programs that they put on. <clears throat> this was something that uh, was agreed to, I don't know how many years ago, but I guess close to five to ten years ago. Any other questions on this? Can I have a motion? Make a motion we approve the director's salary. At uh, 58,541. Okay. So motion is there a second? I'll second it. It's moved. It's seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain. Three zero one. Okay. And, and the reason it's a part-time <coughs> position, huh? It's a part-time position, making fifty thousand, almost fifty thousand dollars. It's an eight, eighty percent. Yeah, you're right. Four days a week. <coughs> and we're paying benefits on that too. We are. It's a one-woman show. Exactly. And as someone who's here a lot at the time, I see that one woman an awful lot. Okay. Nights and weekends and others during. during <coughs> Question? Well, nope. Okay. Uh, the next one, FERCOG expense. In tab eight. Is that? It's one of those that I handed out tonight. We yep. just got that. Should be your very first one. Hey, we're down. The, we're down, yeah. Those are nice. Miracles never cease. I know. It, 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 you think I, there's um, a reason for that? I was pleased with that. I mean, is there a reason why it went down? Formula. Yeah, it's the formula they use. Um, I don't remember what their explanation was now at this point, but mm, okay. for me to find it. All right. Um, well. Make a motion we approve this one. Second. They are really paying down the statutory assessment, which is mostly have to do with retirement um, costs and uh, mm -hmm. stuff over from when they were statutory county. Statutory assessment that's, is for oh, that's right. You're paying the, for the former county employees. Correct, who are now state employees. That were not state employees, and the state never took them over, so we still have to pay for that. Mm -hmm. And that's a statutory assessment, even if you voted down the regional you still have to you pay still have to pay the other regardless <coughs> hmm. okay all right mm -hmm. um, so I used to know something need a about vote. that any any other questions on this no nope. okay all those in favor aye aye aye, aye. aye. four yeah, zero zero okay uh, and uh, the Dickinson Library you want Trust. To do the Dickinson would, Library Trust. That's um, on your page four, but you don't. You won't have a uh, budget sheet for it. It doesn't have it. Have a budget sheet. The uh, shoo, the Dickinson Bless Library you. Trust. Shoo, excuse me. Is a dollar Bless amount, you. and it looks like this year it's eleven uh, eleven hundred and thirty dollars. Where it's, is it it's on It's on here? the last page. You don't have a budget sheet for it. Make a motion to approve that. And the way that works is it's a Dickinson Library Trust that tells us what the dollar is. Dickinson I believe Library it's Trust was deep. They went away and they turned their books over to the town clerk for the town of Deerfield. Is that he the manages way it works? That. Okay. And what happens is they have a certain amount of stocks and bonds and they have to keep those stocks and bonds or whatever they generate for interest is brought back and divided up amongst the library, Tilton Library, and the school. Right, the Front, Frontier, Frontier, Frontier Library. Frontier. And, I, and think I think it's a 75-25 split, it, or is it 85-15? Like I, I can't 15, remember. I think it's a split. Okay. So the amount that's available to be... So that's what's available, and that's what's going to be distributed. Right. So I make a motion that we accept that. Moved, seconded. Any further discussion? There is none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. And zero. OPEB funding. Uh, Who seconded that? Uh, John. John and John. Yeah, 
Do uh, no, we could. We've, do you want to do these 18, do you want to do the Smith Vogue? Dollar, dollar, dollar? What's that? Do you want to do the Smith Vogue? Uh, we just need one dollar in here. Where is the For Smith? All three? Yeah, we do, I haven't put it in because we, we just had the discussion while we were sitting here. Okay. Um, so you want to do the uh, chapter 18, uh, dollar, article well, 18, chapter chapters 74? Yeah, it's, it's not going to be article it's not 18. not going to be article 18. Chapter 74. Yeah, just chapter 74. So. One dollar, Smith vocational tuition. So I'll move that. Wait a and leave the other two. All those in favor? Yes, just all okay. in favor. Okay. Three, zero, one. It's all in one. Wait page. a minute. Okay. Yeah. Right on the Dickinson Library Trust. We're it's not going to be a separate a, put article. Put a one, put article one 18, dollar. right? Correct. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not going to be Article 18, though. Yeah, you can cross those Article 18s. Right. I'll, I'll fix that for next time. So it's Smith vocation. Do you want to be counted in this Smith voc? In what? It's a dollar. A oh, one dollar, <laughs> one dollar uh, budget item, uh, just to carry forward, so we can use it out of. Uh, so that if we get a tuition, we can. With Smith, we can do a free tra we cash transfer. Into <coughs> Whatever we can do to move on to the next thing. That's it. So it's one dollar. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So it's yeah, four yeah. zero zero. Okay. Okay. OPEB funding, and uh, you've got. Do you remember last week? Last time you met. I do met, okay. remember. that. <laughs> yes, well, <laughs> quite do a we long have a policy that we're going to talk about? Um, yeah, uh, we went a little bit back and forth today on something. But, um, I missed it all, so you're going to start over? Uh, no, I so didn't did I. do most of it. Barbara did a lot of it. Um, Bruce. If you recall, at the town meeting this past year, we voted um, to make the treasurer the trustee. So we did take some action on this. And I will have, or have, for the select board tomorrow, a, a policy and a trust document um, for them to look at and potentially sign with the town clerk, the, with the treasurer as the custodian of the trust. So the recommendation is to spend, um, I think we're talking about $25,000 now, not spend it, save it, to put it into the trust. Well, How we come they have 36000 on this? What? They have thirty-six thousand four hundred eighty-six dollars on it. Uh, that was one. Okay. Well, <laughs> how did they come up with that figure? <laughs> that was could, an earlier. Uh, that was Carolyn's recommendation, Carolyn's recommendation from the last time. As a percentage of a free cash. cash, which is how most—not uh, most, but uh, one option that many communities adopt for funding their liability—is a percentage of free cash. Last I knew, everybody was generally acceptance of, accepting of the twenty-five thousand dollar figure, but. Uh, I'd just like to discuss the policy. My feeling is that if we're going to tie it to some dollar amount, uh, either it should be, shouldn't be free cash, I don't think. I think it should be tied to our annual insurance costs, a percentage of those. The health insurance. Health insurance costs. So I as an example, it, one percent of our annual insurance cost would be nine thousand four hundred dollars this year. If it was two percent, it'd be eighteen thousand eight hundred. At three percent, it'd be twenty-eight thousand two. At four percent, it'd be thirty-seven thousand six hundred. Four percent has been the average increase over the past five years. So, if we fund the annual increase. I think we're at least keeping up with the times, the average annual increase. We could go 3%, uh, 3760 uh, if it was invested at 4%, it would give us another $1,500. Um, in, in FY21, if the percentages continue, our Liability would be a million dollars. That year we'd be putting in forty thousand dollars if you put four percent, and you'd have a four percent return, so it would actually be forty-one fifty, forty-one six hundred. So I I would like to tie it at least if we're going to make a recommendation. My recommendation is going to be to tie it to the health insurance. I think that's the most realistic thing 
However, if we don't have the money available in free cash, you can't do that. That's, well, that would be so the part we, of the motion I would make is the town would have retained the option of reducing or increasing that percentage as deemed fiscal, fiscally responsible. In other words, if we had to go to 1% one year, we could go to 1%. Okay. 4% is only option for this year. It could be 3%. But I, as long my, as we have the flexibility process, of reducing it, that's I thought. agree with you that it's, it's better to well, tie it to an insurance cost rather than free cash. Free cash. I agree. I, that, I, and that's just my thought. If we, um, if we really wanted to tie it to something we might do is look at what we're paying for retirees' health benefits. Yeah, and just to let you know what that is, it's about 150000 bucks. Understood. So That was handed out last, last week. Yeah. So I, I would be much more comfortable with just with a policy that stated that that we would put at least twenty five thousand dollars into the OPEB on an annual basis, and that we could put more in if we so desire, or if necessary, you could reduce it. But the intent would be to put at least twenty five thousand in so without policy. without just tying our hands and anything. I think you know eventually we're going to have to pay this. On, I don't think there's any doubt, but I'm concerned about the number of towns that aren't paying much of anything, the number of districts that may or may not be paying. I don't know what the state's going to do. Um, that's the big problem. So that's Nobody problem. knows what the state's going to do, and they haven't made up their mind yes. yet. So here we're trying to get ahead of the ball game, so and I'm not can, sure we should. Well, neither am I. That's why I'm willing to go with 25000 bucks. I don't have a problem with Twenty-five thousand. Just let it sit there. So just a We're funding number. it as we go right now, every year. Right, that's We're my point. what we have to do. Yeah. So this what, is just extra. But my feeling well, was uh, yes or no. no it's we're not, not really extra. funding it. Yeah. Here, here's the, here's the problem, and and the private sector had to address this years ago, and now the public, Gatsby forty-five or Gatsby seventy-five, whatever it is is saying, this is what you need to do now. And, you know, the, the public sector needs to follow the private sector. you got an employee that comes in, and, you, and the employee is entitled to benefits when they retire. At the time of their retirement, you should have put away enough money to cover those benefits that they're right. going to receive. And we obviously haven't done that. That's why we're going to pay. What's the half a million dollars in retirement? But we still retirement. But we still go to the tax phase every year and say we need so much to pay these people for one more year. But it might and we keep and we keep getting it by through taxation. Yeah. Yes. And that's going to continue. Well, we're going to. So why should we put even more into it when we're paying it annually? I, I know Gasby says we should, but realistically, we're not going to have to come up with the cash if we don't do anything. It does affect the bond rating. That's the only downside. That's that's right. And I think, you know, the treasurer is, is acceptable of 25000 She feels that that will, you know, cover our butts with the bond rating. And I think Gasby 74 and 75 is getting a little, I think, more strict about this. And it's not more, it's not as optional or flexible as it used to be. It you know? has, to, has to put it on your balance sheet. But it's still cash that we won't have to outlay that we're not already taken care of. The liability's there, but we fund it every year as we have to. Well, but we don't. The thing is that we're not funding the actual liability when it occurs. That's the issue. Yeah. And uh, it occurs when the employee is working for you. When they retire. No, it occurs when they're working for you. you can argue that, okay? That, I mean, that's it's, the theory of all this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's the that's the word that goes in there, but. I, <clears throat> Skips are. It's not in my. I don't know. That's my opinion. I, I just we're never going to have to pay it. John, I agree with you, but but, we, worst but case what do we scenario, do to keep the bond people? Worst out? case scenario is that we have three people become disabled. We have to hire three more new people. We have three people retire. We hire three new people. Now our benefits have maybe jumped ten percent. Our insurance costs and. We're going to be the taxpayers are going to be hitting the ceiling of two and a half percent somewhere. 
I mean, I understand it says you can use it as a rainy day fund when right. you have a tough budget years, I, I'm, but I'm hearing now from, from the town that that's not correct. That's what was handed out last week. Even if it is true, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense, I don't think. And well, if, on the other hand, if we had three hundred thousand dollars in it, and we had a, a million five, and we only could afford a million two, it would make sense. Let's say there is three hundred thousand in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can we use it? Yeah. Oh, well, that's Absolutely. that's what we're saying. Not we're saying only, rainy only day for huh? the retirees' health benefits. Okay, well, you can use that for the rainy day fund, though. Well, that's the way we, I understand it. But we don't recommend that. Barbara strongly, you know, so what, No, but can we is my question. Well, we have to set a policy, and, and her recommendation. No, no, legally, can we use it? I mean, actually, what Barbara can we handed legally, out. When we, if we put 300000 into it, can we legally go in and use that money? Yeah. It depends for the retirees on benefits. Just huh? for the retirees' yeah. benefits. So in that case, then, we won't, uh, the annual operating budget, we wouldn't have to fund the retirees' benefit. We could take it out open. In theory. Choose if we ever that. got theory. that far, if, yeah. if, it, if it ended up being big enough, I think you could. I think that's, I think that's the intent of what some use. of the towns are doing. Well, I think you can too, but you should point. have a policy that's consistent and you do it, you know, shouldn't be using OPEB money to reduce the tax rate, for instance. But that's what happens. That's what the, real, the reality is going to be. If we don't use the 300000 to pay some retiree, then we have to use the tax rate. So you are reducing the tax rate. <coughs> you follow that? Uh, I guess I was meaning you would take out of the 300,000. If you take, it's, it's the money's gotta come from somewhere, either 300,000 or through taxes. If you take it out of the 300,000, you're reducing the tax rate because you didn't take it out of taxes. Right, and I think the point is we don't want to, we want to put this money away like we're being told by right and we want to have a consistent policy so we are right. putting it away incrementally and um, not making it as available as any other money that it really is only to be tapped if we need it for current retirees health insurance you know which will help reduce the okay of operating okay budget. then we agree <laughs> right yeah. Bruce. I just don't want to put it in and never use it. That'd be silly. Right. Bruce. But I think what I just the don't language. I want to put it in and not have it make money. I agree with that. Investing too. climate today is not going to make money <laughs> unless you put it in the stock market. And I'm not sure about that either. We can put it in U.S. <laughs> Treasuries and make Well, we're going to discuss it at the board percent. meeting tomorrow, the details the, of that. How much? 3%, three, three percent, <laughs> at least 3% in U.S. Treasuries, 10 years. The, so, I mean, uh, that's, that's the treasurer's responsibility. That's it, yeah. That's the treasurer's, that's the treasurer's responsibility. Yeah. And is that being done with the money we've allocated so far? Is it being invested? Well, no, I don't invested. know what she's doing. Is it because we still have to do the the two documents that we're going to. So the money on. we've the last two years we put money in OPEB. Where did you put? No, but only the, one year. The, we've one only year? put money into OPEB this year in last fiscal year. eighteen, 18. and I, I don't 10, believe 000. that it's right. been moved yet. Okay. Because we needed these policy the policy and the. Are you going to move that with the interest that it generates? It should. Pardon? You're going to move the 10000 with the interest it generates? If it was in an interest-bearing mm -hmm. account or was it in a checking it. account? Well, 10000 was the amount that was allocated. Okay, 10000 I hear what you're saying. And how much interest are you getting on $10,000 for the year? Uh -huh. $300. No, it's not being moved with interest. So it's in, a, it's in the general fund. It's not sitting. It is. It is bearing. yet. I believe. Yeah. Okay. And that's an interest-bearing account. I believe so. I, I don't know where Barbara has that right now. I, it, they, she has many accounts. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, what 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 would you like to do? Make a motion, Skip. No, but you guys make the motion. I mean, if I had my choice, I'd say put in the least amount like we did last year, because. There's no rush to do it. The state hasn't set a policy yet. Why are we trying to circumvent the state and go be ahead of them? Many, many communities have done it. Many states have done I it. I think we should, again, the, the all policy, the policy. They're doing it. The policy will help when the actuarial uh, company comes and does the, the, um, study. the study this summer. It'll help us. Uh, with the rating that we get, and that's done every two years. So the bond rating. So yeah. maybe we should talk to the bond people and say what will happen if we put 
thirty thousand in every year. They, what would happen if we only put in ten thousand every year? They just want to see a policy, a set policy where you say this is the amount that we'll we we plan to put in every year. Okay, a thousand bucks. There's a policy. The uh, the policy can be it's a policy. It can be changed on an annual basis right. if necessary. We increase well, the decrease. We're not. <laughs> but if you want, I mean, we can wait and see what the selectmen vote tomorrow night if they vote. I assume we're meeting again next week. I'd like to talk to the bond people because that, that's no. that's ultimately. How about if we ask the treasurer to do that? Hmm? How about if we ask the treasurer to do that? Okay. See what the effect of. I think she has. Well, then, you know, then Barbara can come here next week and, and explain that. She doesn't want to. I think Barbara came last week and gave you all the information that she possibly could. She did give us some handouts, but I'm here. I'm seeing now that some of the information is not correct. So, because it says, ten reasons to fund. In tough budget years, assets <clears throat> can be used as a rainy day fund to cover any OPEB-related expenses. OPEB, yeah, that's for only for health insurance. Understand any, not yeah. just retirees. Well, that's all OPEB. Not just is. active. That's that's all OPEB is. That's all OPEB is. That's retiretees? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. So you couldn't... I, you know, then maybe yeah. we, I think the idea... I think that's a misleading. I think the idea misleading. is that we're, you know, that again. <laughs> our tax levy is limited by the 2.5%, right. but your retiree benefits are going up higher than that. Understood. So at some point, some towns aren't going to be able to sustain that continued increase in their insurance right. costs, so the OPEB funds can be used to bring that down so that the t so that we we uh, that's my point we should cover put it. enough in to stabilize our increases over the next every year if we have a four percent increase I, but I, right I, I think that you you need to get your OPEB trust fund up to a certain level before you can even think about doing that though if that makes sense up to what level well if you have hundred fifty thousand dollar liability you can't What's our liability? What's on our balance sheet? Right We're going to be on our balance sheet. How much? We spend about one hundred and fifty-five thousand, I think, in fiscal eighteen. We're spending that for <coughs> retirees. Yeah, but what's going to be on the balance sheet for our OPEP liability, the Gatsby liability? I don't know. Is that a million dollars. Right now? Uh, it's somewhere around a million and a half or two million dollars. <coughs> yeah. I don't understand that. If, if the town's paying out one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year, this million or million and a half dollar that's just assuming that we're not going to have any money available no right. it's just no, no it's it's an accounting it's an no. accounting thing where they go through and they yeah. say this guy is 24 years old you just hire him he's going to work for the town for 40 years mm -hmm. and for 40 years you're going to owe him health I insurance and for that 40 years this is what it is but what happens is the number they give you is the maximum number right. it's not the minimum number it's a maximum number like for example, say somebody quits, they don't account for people quitting. I get that, but it's still, you know, what we're funding is the, the, what it costs the town every year. Right. And what I'm seeing is these figures are, I don't want to say inflated, inflated figures. but they're budgeted figures that this person or all of these, this group is gonna be. Now, if our OPEB liability was, say there's $10 million, that's, the, that's an assumption that everybody retired all at once, but, Every year, we're gonna. This liability will grow, but we're gonna. The amount that we have to spend is also gonna grow. I still, my personal philosophy is this: that it's been a few years since I've been a selectman, but back then, OPEP came into existence. Between that and a cog, I got experience through there, and the governor at the time says what we want to do is unless till the state makes up their mind how they want to address this, because the state made up their mind for retirement, that you had to pay off your retirement liability by 2028. And I think since then they've increased it to 2033. And one of the philosophies was that after we turn around and pay off all that we owe for our retirement, then we can start funding this seriously. So you wait in line until all the retirement's done, and then you see what your liability is at that point, and then start funding it. So I don't have a problem putting in ten thousand dollars, but I don't want to put in twenty-five, and I don't want to put in fifty or a hundred thousand. 
because I don't see where that's necessary right now. Well, Until the state makes up their mind what they want to do. Where, along this line, I'm not sure that I'm following some of these figures because if our current liability is 150,000 a year, let's just say some wealthy resident donated one and a half million dollars to the town and we could put in an account that generated 10% interest and the OPED didn't change, we'd never have to come up with any money because that $150,000 would be there every year. Thank you. I'm well, glad that you're going to well, donate that money. Not, well, not really. Yes, I, unless, because unless the, the obligation changed. Because that 155 that we're paying now are for those who are now retired. Okay. Would, right. would increase. I understand. And we, we will have, we've, we've added, the problem is we've added employees. Right. We keep adding employees and that, that changes future that. liability keeps increasing because we've got more employees today than we had 10 years ago, Mostly more employees education. 10 years ago than we had 20 and, and, years and ago. I, and I understand if, that, but, but what my, go ahead. No, my, go ahead. You, my, I interrupted my point you. to that is that if we fund the OPEB and that we do end up with a lean year, you can take that money to pay the retirees benefit mm -hmm. to help our budget at that particular year. But when I hear these numbers that we have to put 50, 60, $70,000 a year for this, I just, I don't get it. Who's Look at it this way. If, if uh, GASB 74 hadn't come along, what would we do? Every year we pay what we had to pay. We are now. Yes, that's and that's what we're doing year. now. Yeah. So why spend more money? Yeah. It's only because- We've actually already It's only because it. people on Wall saying. Street said we need to put it on a balance. No, what they're saying is we've already, we've already committed Incarted. to those and We've we need incurred. to pay yeah, for that's that why commitment. it's on the balance sheet and that's why we need to but again put money if, against it, it. if gas if it hadn't happened we'd still be paying it every year it has yeah, happened right. nothing's nothing's changed and we but know it, it affects the happened. bond that's rating the and we know we have some big projects up ahead of us and anything we can do to reduce our borrowing costs which is the, the goal yeah i mean I, that's I, that's my I, concern I, is that's the why we should find that's out. the primary reason i i think that's why we should find out what the blind people will say if we're gonna, I don't know if what you're else. Only got, if you, your bond rating is 3% without having any money in, and it's 3.1% if you have money, I mean, 2.9% if you have money in it, what is that? Yeah, is it worth it? Ten, tenth of a percent more. That's well, what I think well, you're asking for. On a, on a million dollars, it's a, a ten thousand dollars. One percent is uh, ten thousand dollars. So yeah. a tenth of a percent, and we don't know what it is. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars on ten million, it's ten thousand right. bucks. Uh, so, over twenty-five years. So what I said was, let's put in ten thousand dollars. <laughs> Is that a motion? Make a motion. We put in ten thousand dollars for. How about a motion to accept a policy? No. No. No, they Besides haven't written the select boards. Oh, once, okay. they, once they get the policies written. Then they have to get it to the select board. Then they have to vote it. Yeah, we're going to discuss. We have that on the agenda. And I don't know if the town has to vote it too or not. No. Money article. Uh, the budget. No, the, but it's, uh, well, the, it's a policy article. The money, the money, the money, the money that goes into, they have to vote. Right. But they don't have to vote the policy. So, I mean, if you want, if you want to wait <coughs> until next week, the selectmen are going to, are going to address tomorrow. this issue tomorrow. We can find out what the... Uh, policy is or what they are recommending for a policy or I'm not sure whether they vote the policy or recommend it to the town it's however it's done uh, but and then we can address it next week okay put it on hold then you withdraw your motion yes I withdraw my ten thousand dollar motion okay is that all right yeah because I'm against okay. it so okay <laughs> so we had the discussion. We'll have it again next week. Go ahead. Again. Next week again. Next week again. And I would like Barbara to address the issue of what does, if there is a, an insurance. How much is the savings for bonding? I don't know. That I don't know that I we're going to know. I don't think she can answer that question. It's she should call the bond. She can at least, she, she can raise the, the issue on the phone and, ask him. and see if $25,000 is adequate, see if $10,000 is adequate. I don't think it's a five-minute phone call. Really, it's, I so. don't think it's that simple of a question. That's it. But, okay. It may not be, but no. make it make an effort. I'm, okay. Did she speak to it last week at all? 
Where are we? I can't remember. I, I didn't come at the beginning of that. South there there there. Are we done? What? More or less. There was something else. The planner position. Well, I would, we're going to go through the board first. Yeah. Yes. I haven't even handed this out so. to anybody yet. Oh, then let's do it. What do we do with Frontier's <laughs> budget? Do we look it over and come up with questions? Or? We have to set a well, meeting. We'll, we'll have to meet with Frontier. We'll have to meet. Actually, we meet with the, the schools in general. And, and we talk about the budget. And they usually do that. The schools usually do that. What they do the is they have a public school hearing. Does it, and then Frontier does it as a public hearing by the individual school committees. But should we, as a committee, sit down and come up with our own Could questions? Could be. Yeah, oh, absolutely. So we should review this. Or, or, or we should go through, and, and you can come up with questions, and then we can put them all together. Maybe the selectmen will do that, too. It was my understanding that the, um, they wanted to come visit with us and talk to us about what their budget was mm -hmm. made of. Yeah, I forwarded you to the email from the yes. superintendent. And the so next far. question is, do we want to do that with Frontier? Do we want to do that individually? I thought we were talking about Frontier. I think or, we went through this last year, and they really would like to have the big meeting with all the towns, if it, I and recall. They, typic they, they will typically do that. The question is, do we want to talk with the other towns and, and get a where we all get together and we just we spend the evening talking about Frontier's budget? That would be good. Uh, like that, that, that would be fine with me. What's what are your thoughts on that? But that's a good idea. I think it's a good John? idea. No, All the you know, board, I think it's going to be hard to get the other finance committees together. I don't think we've ever done that. No, we never have. What we've always done was we get an invite to the Frontier public yep. hearing. And they say, <laughs> this is the budget that we've laid out. They give all the justification. And in some cases, I know that they voted the budget even before they made the presentation to us. Yes. They may have voted Which was it very last night. disingenuous if they vote the budget and then they turn around and make a presentation mm -hmm. because that means there's no input from us. Okay. And I looked through the budget real quickly from Frontier, and it, I don't believe it included any of their capital I, um, yeah. items. No. That I mean, that's something else that I think yeah. the, the towns need to discuss as well. I wonder what they put in for OPEP. It's in there someplace. They do fund OPEP. How much is the increase in Frontier? Four, 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 four seven. something percent, five percent. Between four and five percent. John. Seventy-five percent, seventy-four percent of the total budget is that benefit. So you're pretty close now. Do you feel so? Yeah. We did these two, right? Okay, anything else? So I'm assuming that if we can arrange something. We've got two selectmen here. Are they going to filibuster for us tonight? I'm not saying words. Oh, it's the town, right, it's the town report. Right, that's August 6th. So when will we have the Deerfield Elementary School budget? Oh, we have that. Well, we, we have their initial one, and Trevor just uh, came back from a meeting where they had a second 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 go around. It was 3.01 last month. For the increase and percentage. Yeah, it's down to 2.88 right now. Okay. Could you get that down to 2.5? No. 2.88 is great. We'll take that. Well, we could. How about how about if we did something like this? We agreed to a three percent increase on a per capita basis for the number of students in Deerfield. So we take the number of students in Deerfield from last year, and what, and then we multiply or we divide that. The, the budget from last year by the number of students, so we come up with a figure. Per student. And, per student, and we multiply that by 3%, and then you multiply that by your expected students next year, mm -hmm. and that's what we go with. Why 3%? Yeah. Why not 2.5%? All right, 2.5%, right? because they won't go with 3% either, so it's, it's, it was an open line. <laughs> um, no, that's canine. I like it, it that. Would be, it, would be a nice, it would be nice to start looking at 
per capita costs, and we used to do that long, 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 long time ago. I think if you had 10,000 more, you can just close the schools and send them to the private schools. I, I want your budget. I don't want the, the flaky numbers that they send off to the state. Which is 13.4 percent lower than similar. Districts. I don't. That you know, like I said, flaky numbers. Fake, fake, fake numbers. Is that the, that's the new term? Fake, right. fake, 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 fake news. Fake news. Fake news. How many new employees this year? Do we have anything else? That's what I thought. Okay. As far as yeah, so, go to the club. Yeah. Okay, go home. Uh, yeah. All right. Anything else that we need I, to do? I just want to say that yeah. under um, landfill monitoring, I talked with a, a then a uh, engineer. I didn't talk. Emailed with the engineer. We've been waiting for an estimated price and what that would be, so we can hone that number better for you. That we've now got at seventy thousand for the monitoring wells at the landfill. For what? The monetering wells at the landfill. So you went up for we I sought another price. Hmm? We sought other prices from other engineers? A GZA to be specific. I I think I wrote to several and they were responsive, saying we're interested and um, I communicated with them today and they hope by so how much did, by March ninth. Uh, how have much a was number. in the budget? Right now we have seventy thousand, so I don't know. That's what we expected, continuing what we'd been doing, that we're changing course with who's going to do that for us, though. I have a question. For, I'd like the opinion of the Finance Committee in uh, response to New England Natural Bakers purchasing the old Oxford property that uh, the Select Board currently has a commitment for them to purchase the land, but we have no guarantees for the building going forward. I just was wondering what your thoughts are. I was going to fill you in I about this, and I now you're jumping in before I could give you the latest well, that's update. Right. I just want their input or thoughts um, as to if there is no guarantee for the building, should we continue with just selling, selling the land to them? No. My thought is that if we do sell the land and they don't continue on with the building, then some banker has a valuable piece of property that they can turn around and sell for more money. And they can make money off of us. Right. Well, I, I just think it has to be a stipulation. In well, the we buy don't. sell agreement, yeah. that they have to build a building within a certain period of time, or it's gone away. Yeah. I just wanted. To there are a number of state agencies that are actively involved in supporting this project going forward. They, it's going to happen. <laughs> when uh, they're going to, they be closing on this um, by March fifteenth, no later than March fifteenth, on the land, and. Uh, Cannot, they are very committed to this. They weren't, they're not investing state business development organizations. Governor's office has been involved, the bank, etc. They are investing in this and some uh, equipment in order for them to build the business to have other resources to go forward. Absolutely, they're telling us they're going to be doing it. So they being the various partners involved in this How process. How long has this process been going on? Oh, I, I, which process now are you talking <laughs> about? I'm talking about about the bankers. process of trying to purchase the property. Well, there are a whole lot of reasons, and some of it's on the town as to why it's it's taken as long as it has. But they've got the financing. They're going to have a closing. There are other partners in this, state resources. How about if and we had some sort of a deal whereby if the building, starting construction on the building, doesn't occur they can't within they, the first I, as of years. today hear me out I cannot get a date hear I've already out. pursued that if it doesn't occur within the first four years after the closing that the selectmen agree to dump their salaries for the ten years following that I got a better <laughs> idea that's a hundred and sixty thousand that's sixty thousand. I think that there's a lot of details everybody doesn't know and I don't th I think no, it's I mean, careless it's been, to have this kind of a conversation so it, it is but um, I, I, I guess I'm, it, I I'm concerned. The sale of the property oh. should be subject to um, that use. How much are they paying Period. for the land? Not much. Thirty-eight thousand five hundred dollars, give or take. Decisions per, per acre. made a while ago. Per acre. So, 
Correct. And how we many paid over hundred thousand. How much are they going to spend? Ten, ten uh, acres, give or take. Nice. So three hundred thousand bucks. Yep. Yeah, three. But so they're not going to walk away. Just leave land there. No, 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 no. The no, problem no. is they take it for three hundred and sell it for seven hundred. Right. That's the issue. That's yeah, the that's issue. the that's the issue that because uh, the problem is we paid a hundred thousand per acre. Right. Hundred and ten. Hundred and ten, yeah. Well I was rounding that off yeah. close yeah. enough. So I think it needs a restriction on the per, on the sale of property. The for, problem was it was given away years. at thirty eight thousand dollars an acre, that's a giveaway. Right. And you can't tell me it's only worth thirty eight thousand because I just sold a piece of property, two acres for six fifty. And if somebody wants to develop I don't think that anywhere thing, anywhere in the, there's no one in this room that was involved with that decision. I, 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 What's at that? This point in time, the money to doesn't. Sell, to sell the land. The cost of the land. I mean, we can't do anything about it. Well, but we can restrict the purchase on the it? permitted use. Yes, we can. I think. No, we can. I'm, we've I'm, already. We've already. I didn't. Even it's a permitted it. use John right may have now. John on the board. No, not by right. the selectmen. The selectmen have control of that entire Were piece of property. Were you on the board when they sold the? No, it was it was two years ago. No, I ago. was not. It was two years ago. Two years ago? Two or three when, or four. When we bought when we yeah it was it was when we bought the land exactly. it was six Five. or seven years ago. Right. No. Okay. No, when we bought the land, I was there. Yes. So, like I said, six or seven. He's the one that I'll spent hundred thousand dollars an acre. I spent over hundred thousand an acre. <laughs> and and you know. Now he's got buyer's remorse. Right. No, I don't. <laughs> so I have um, the only remorse I have is somebody selling it or giving it away right, for less than half of what we paid for. And we stole it for a hundred thousand an acre. Right. So why can't we put restrictions on the sale? Well, Bob Decker tried doing that after the fact, that we couldn't sell it for less than what we bought it for or less than the assessed value. However, this was before that motion passed. No, I'm just saying if we restrict it to the permitted use, because it is has been permitted through expedited permitting by the selectmen. So if that permitted use doesn't occur, the sale is going to be null and void. Is it? We'll give them the money say back. That in the lands, does it say that in the sales contract? I don't know. I'm just saying it should. We don't have know. We sales contract, so we have no idea what's going on. It's all done. It's just whatever's section. in the contract is what's going to happen. Well, then, then I don't know why we're asking the question, because we're not privy to the right. to the discussion. But the, I just wanted to get your opinion, well, and you, I got it. Because I, I can I give it to you more six. too. Know, you, got it in, you got it in more. You got lots of opinion. <laughs> so, my opinion I mean, is I don't want to put the town in a position where you know we sell the land because I know that once the bank owns that, regardless of they'll the people sell it to whoever they want. If if the they conditions aren't met, the, the bank owns, owns it and they can do what they want. That's right. Can you change the purchase and sale agreement? Do we we do can't we answer that question because we've never seen a contract. Do we have a purchase and sale agreement? <laughs> I'd like to see the purchase and sale agreement. It, it's a, it is. Can it be changed? Is it a purchase? Has it been signed? Yes. Oh, I want to see it. We have an 11th amendment on it. Sir. I want to see the purchase and sale I'd like agreement. To see it not tonight, tomorrow. If not, no. I'm going to file right. a Freedom of Information I leave Act. It, I leave what? it to the board to so we, decide whether they want to bring you in on I would like to ask the board if they will allow me to file for I'll make a motion to authorize you to do it. Okay. Can anyone answer my question? Well, What's your question? question? Can a purchase and sale agreement be edited and revised after it's been signed in by both parties? Talk to legal counsel. Only if you both. agree on both sides. I think if both parties both agree. Yeah. Right. right. We've been doing that with this amendment. But, an but, once, but once it's an agreement, it's been signed, there's right. no reason that it not, should not be public. Right. The negotiations are over. So I'd like to see the, the purchase and sale agreement. I don't think we could find it here. I, I have it on my phone. Oh. I agree with you. Okay. Yep. I will ask for it. it you want this? So yes. yep. just to I'll ask one those. additional question, are they getting um, credits on their assessments? They're working on that, I do believe. They have to update the, have to update it. it went out of, it expired in this length of time, so it's had got to be. So Are you talking we, about? I'm talking about reduced assessments on the value the of the property. Uh, yeah. I, they, like she said, they did apply for one, but it expired, so I think. Well, good. That's our, that's our, 
right. the assessors. That's what we have holding in abate right now. Well, yeah, and, and I don't have any problem. No, there's I, no. I like to see them build. And until this built, happens. there's no right. abatement. So and, but we've we've never, we've gone through this process yeah. so many times that there comes a point in time when we need to put an end to it. Yeah. The thing is, if you Some, have an agreement, you have to have a completion date. Sure. What's your completion date? Where you have to renew it. My philosophy is, whatever that date is, don't renew it. If they're not if they're not going to build, or they don't have the assets behind them to build. And we can't say pretty pleased to the state because they're not going to give us any money. As I've been We're saying, giving a property away. We shouldn't be giving it away. Well, the that's, dollar amount of that, that's, that train has kind of left the station. Yeah. But we're, if we can, you know, the best that we can hope for is that they get the building up as soon as possible. And we tax and, and that's And get the tax dollars. Right. Get some local people hired and... That's the idea of it. That's why it was going to be sold for a giveaway price. Yeah. I've spoke to Carolyn about it before, but she says, oh, you don't understand. I understand very well. I understand dollars and cents. And to give it away doesn't make sense. Now, unfortunately, if we're going to get the jobs and stuff, fine. But it shouldn't have taken this long already. Well, should not have taken this long. Like Wendy said, a, a lot of that falls on the town. Part of it is, I agree. And, and uh, you know, I personally didn't agree with the avenue that we took to rectify it, but, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, we've gotten to the point where we can go forward. Uh, I'm, I just haven't, I haven't seen any documents to show me the light at the end of this tunnel that would be, you know, beneficial to the community. But Normally when you sell a property like that, you get option payments, thousand dollars, five thousand a month. They pay that as good money up front. So if they back out, yep. the town keeps the money. Yes, that's normal practice. I don't we've, think we've we got ten thousand initially when they signed the initial agreement. So we do have ten thousand out of it. We have ten thousand. Hallelujah, we got something. <laughs> All right, can I have a motion? Next meeting is the twenty-first. What time? Does does every, everybody like or dislike 530? I dislike it, but I'll do it. If we get out of here by 730, I like it. I mean, I mean one, one I like of the reasons that we did 530 is no? one of our no. board members wanted to what? do 530. No, 530 works better for me. It would be That's nice true. to get for to you, a choir practice. I'm willing to concede and have it at 530. And okay. the select board's meeting so at 6. I'd rather do it at 530 just to have you. Know. Yeah, and right. The select board's at 6. We need at 7. <laughs> I think there was a, another meeting it. conflict, so you moved it. So the 21st at 530. Yeah, it's 6 o'clock, and me. you decided that last week. Is what? So you'll be in yeah. there, and we'll be out here, I guess. I won't be here. Oh. So, so that's why you want to do it. Um, can, Will can, you have a quorum? Um, yes, I think so. Dick, oh, Bruce won't be here. The other down. Bruce you won't be down. here. Who no. won't be here? I'm at a case. Oh, you're heading to St. Peter's. At, at East. Mary and Jeff and East. I do oh, have the, one little thing that I want to talk about. But I expect, Mary would be here tonight. Too. I expected Mary tonight. Uh, Jeff said he wasn't going to be able to make it. But Another point of interest well, over here. Uh, okay. We were emailed mm -hmm. the okay. annual Meeting town so calendar. Like so. Yeah, uh, we were. Well, that's okay, you and I don't, that. I don't see any place where we are holding the pre-town meeting event. Is that going to be held this year? I was not, I would not like to do it. Um, and I talked about it with some of the board members and the clerk and you, I think, yeah. and also polled other towns. We all think it's a wonderful, and talked to the town moderator about it as well. We like the idea, but in practice, it tends not to work. Um, the only thing that we thought about when I, in talking with Dan Graves, the moderator, was it might make sense to do it at, for more information about the process of town meeting and how it works and, you know, uh, the, the, that more than having a meeting and talking about mosquitoes and dump stickers, which is what last year's meeting was. <laughs> so, and, you know, I just... As I said, I polled other communities. So I'm 
it's not all, it's obviously it's not up to me, but that would be my suggestion. And Dan uh, was going to think about it as well, whether to do something just. And I said that I could, at the very least, get information on the website and information out to through the media in some ways about town meeting and what's coming up and that kind of thing. Use that as more of a resource. If we if but, we could get to the point, and I'm not this is not aiming shots at anybody, but if we ever got to the point where we had a website where we could, for example, put the town uh, warrant on the website uh, so that people could look at it. That's what we do. Uh, but I mean, com completely. Uh, I think we could do that now. I mean, yeah, if, we if did. we have it available a week ahead of time, it's just a matter of scanning it in. Take it down. Well, we, we, it's that we can. The ahead thing of time. is, we put it. No, we've got a more ambitious schedule this mm -hmm. year, which we're going to keep to. We were crazy last year, yeah. and it got That's last end. And mm -hmm. I, we're going to open the warrant and set a one month ahead uh, closing of the warrant, and that means we've got to and whatever. I don't have the schedule right what's, in front of well, me. Let's open the warrant on the fifteenth of February. Close the warrant on the tw March twenty eighth. And have it on yep, that gives us April sixteenth. Yes, so it'll be An annual town meeting. Mm -hmm. The only one who screws that up are the select April one. 30th. You hear that? I can do that. Because they <laughs> reopen a warrant and then reclose the warrant. They reopen a warrant, accept something, and then they close it. So I don't remember doing tell that. Tell the selectmen not to do that. that. It, happened last it was a, it was a it scramble last, last year. year. I was going to say, I don't remember myself doing that, but I do remember that happening. So. Yes. But guess what? You got three selectmen, they all get the credit and they all get the blame. That's right. I took it for 18 years, that's your opportunity <laughs> you now. It out. <laughs> and, and, and now it's payback time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, no, I just. Usually they start on the for finance for committee, committee and get years, run yeah. for select and that's board. That's the way it goes. So if you have other thoughts, let us know. <laughs> um, but that, uh, whether you would like to do a pre town meeting and go through the whole warrants and all of that kind of thing, I, think, I, I, I just feel like we should, be, think, it's better to spend our energy on the, in terms of turnout, in terms of having a quality town meeting. Yeah. Um, if, it, if it were productive, I would agree. If it's not productive, and I, I would agree, I don't think last year's meeting was particularly productive. What I think would be productive, if we're hitting close to the two and a half, and we're over uh, what we can actually do without going for the to to vote. Having we haven't override? got a total budget yet. We don't know where we are in total budget. What total right, budget. but I don't expect that to be the case. So because we're going to use a lot of well, free cash. W well, no, I we will have my my hope is that we will have this budget with a couple of exceptions completed by the end of February. Now we may not vote. The schools, but we we were going to be we're going to be close enough in there. So we'll know the total dollar. So we're there. we're within one percent of, of the total or two percent of the total dollars. Uh, and unless, you don't see any problem with. The well, I think we increase. need to discuss it. I, I think we do need to have the so discussion. Is there the sheets that we get every week? Do they have a total projection? Uh, they do. Take a look. I, are they accurate at the moment? Of course not, because there there are holes in it. But uh, okay. projection, you mean total budget? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I wanted. The one that that you got tonight, um, like I said, I just plugged in a figure for Franklin um, yeah, Tech, uh, not knowing what their budget's going to be. I just threw something in there, but otherwise, you do have, I believe, the entire budget. It, you know, there's some things that are still. Not complete. We like don't contracted have contracted services. We don't have things capital. like that. But that won't be. That. We, we don't have a capital idea, budget. Though. And we don't. We certainly yeah. we don't have any of the special we, special we don't articles have all except the for So those are the things that we do need. So we're talking about a thirty thousand dollar increase. We're at three three and a half percent right now. We're at three point seven percent. Right. With uh, with mm -hmm. Frontiers five point three nine percent increase mm -hmm. in their budget. So you know those are the. That's the kind of thing that I want to have the discussion about. But we need to get through the budget first so that we can get those, those numbers in there. Uh, but I think, we, I think we will. Can we go to 3.5% this year? Increase? I don't know. Well, I think we're, we're, we can well, we, we, we might, but do, is, is that, does that make sense? No. 
because if we do it this year, we've got to be able to do, do it, it again not three and a half percent, but since we've already raised it three and a half. More. Yeah, it's so it's I don't it's think it's, uh, it, okay. no. it's sustainable. Okay. I agree. That's the, okay. All right. Well, then. Okay. Can I have a, if we have nothing else, can I have a motion to adjourn? I'll move. Second. Move, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.